Hi everyone, this is Weirdre and I'm back y'all. I'm back with another video. It is a beautiful day here in Pittsburgh. It is summer y'all. It is summer. Hopefully wherever you're watching from you are having a wonderful summer so far in spite of everything, right? Because we, you know, are just having um, some glorious weather. Like we've been having a heat wave here in Pittsburgh over the last week or so. So today um, we've gotten a little bit of break. It's not as humid. Not that I'm complaining because I'm all about the heat. But guess what y'all? In this video, I just wanted to share kind of like a life update with y'all. Today is a very special day for me. So if you want to find out what's so special about today, definitely keep on watching today today is my one year anniversary of being a homeowner yeah you see <laughs> cheers <laughs> cheers to home ownership if you are a homeowner then you know you know how special this day is let me just take a sip this is some sparkling cider because I'm not drinking for the month of July, or at least for the rest of July. I'm sorry, because I, you know, the first week I had a few drinks. But um, I am feeling great and just having some time to reflect. I have some of my, um, these are my planners. This is my planner. And look at this. It says anything is possible, right? And anything really is. Um, this is my planner. And, you know, I always like to make note of just all the different things that I'm doing. So I took out my planner from last year, you know, from 2019. And I opened it up to July 12th. And yes, July 12th is the day that I close on this house and I, I wanted to just see like what I wrote and I wrote uh, to I close on my first house today I am a homeowner so I I, I feel great it was not an easy process and um, you know just thinking uh, in, in, in retrospect about just what all um, happened leading up to me actually signing those papers and closing on this house it just made me think about just um, you know whenever I've achieved something that I really 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 you know wanted to to make happen just the process the hurdles the challenges and just that feeling of knowing um, when you know you, you, I finally got it done and um, I remember the day that I got the call from the broker at the mortgage company and listen guys like to be honest with you it was just um talk about hurdles like there were so many things going on leading up to me closing on the house i didn't even know that i was actually going to close in a sense of there was nothing physically um that that would happening that would indicate to me that you know what today is the day i'm actually going to close on my house it was really at that point you know just kind of you know i just not like i threw my hands up guys but i really was like okay i'm just gonna i wasn't really necessarily expecting it to happen because because the, the the company a lot of things you know fell through um, they made some blunders <laughs> that ultimately affected me and the process it was just a lot of hiccups it was a roller coaster ride throughout the entire um, journey of working with this mortgage company you know I was told that I would need to bring one amount um, to closing and literally that amount doubled and tripled um, from <laughs> beginning to end so it was, it was a lot but all that to be said for the fact that I actually like I closed and I remember some of the things that were just happening mentally you know leading up to it um, I really 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 wanted to you know buy a house um, at the point of you know me being in this process I was renting I had been at my apartment in Highland Park for 10 years a lovely place um, but my landlord decided to sell the building and so I had to move either way so that really gave me a push of urgency to really um, you know just just find a house ASAP but I looked at a tons of houses it took me a while to find one that really ticked off the boxes that were important for me and I saw some houses that I was like okay this is the one and for one reason or another it just didn't work out something maybe was wrong or just you know things things happen but I remember when I walked into this house and um, my agent um, I don't even remember how he found it but I just remember one day he sent me like the link and I looked at the pictures and I was like oh okay this looks great and then we came and when I saw it you know it was a duplex I was looking for a property that was income producing that was like my number one thing it had to be an income producing property so when I saw that it was a duplex and that it was laid out like I literally didn't have to do a thing I didn't have to fix anything all I had to do was move in 
you know so I was like this is the one you know and my agent was like yes this is a great great deal so yeah I made the offer and I I came in I made an offer that was about 10,000 less than what it was um, than, than what it was listed as and um, you know the process began at that point and um, it was just <laughs> I, I feel so fortunate that on July 12th last year when I got the call from the broker um, saying you you can close today if you can get to the trust um, the title company by uh, three o'clock today and at this point it was probably like about noon when I got the call he was like if you could make it to the title company by noon by three o'clock today like you, you you can close and so at that point I was like oh my god like when I like I t like I said to you I wasn't really expecting this to happen because so many things had fell through up to this point um, like I had gotten no indication that I was actually gonna close on this date it was just like the projected date that they gave me to close and that date had changed at this point probably three or four times you know so um, I didn't even have all of the cash on hand like I had to go to my bank get the cash you know after he said I could close so even that was you know a process but not all that to say I close it's been an amazing year not only you know did I move in but um, you know and, and I'm still getting settled um, like I'm just now starting to like unpack and get settled with some of my clothes and whatnot but listen it's been incredible um, I'm an Airbnb host and yes I am close to being a super host um, the the property through Airbnb it pays for itself it pays for the mortgage for the utilities um, and it, it pays me <laughs> as well and it's just been um, it's been a learning process because listen when you're a homeowner there are things like anything else you got to learn and I'm still you know learning um, just the other day I had a plumber come in because I had to get my sink cleared up and I couldn't call no landlord to do it you know I had to to do that so it's definitely um, you know I'm learning still and it's a it's a responsibility for sure that is specific in itself but I am loving it and I'm looking forward to acquiring more property and um, and growing you know my, my, my real estate portfolio so I am super super grateful and as I am now pursuing other goals I'm keeping in mind the same things that I've learned from this experience of, of getting a house that listen you know the action part of getting things done the action part associated with um, realizing a goal like we have to do our part right there's always gonna be things that we we just have to do like I had to you know get my get my credit in order I had to get the down payment um, you know I had to find the right programs for me you know in my unique situation um, and you know all that being said like I, I did everything that I had to do and there were still things that I couldn't control that were happening that were impacting me but the number one thing that I took away from this this is just the importance of having faith and just knowing that everything no matter how it turns out everything always always will work out because at the point when I didn't even know that I was gonna close I began entertaining well what if I don't close you know what what would happen you know what would I need to do you know I would need to find you know a place to live and I'm like okay well you know what, what kind of housing would it be would it be I don't want to do long term right because I would still be pursuing buying a house so I just began really thinking and seeing okay if this doesn't work out with this property just what would be what would what would be my next steps and once I began to think about what that might look like it showed me that okay well you know that's not what I want to happen but if it does like I'll be good like I'll be able to handle it so it just showed me that you know it's important that when we're pursuing a goal to just be open to the idea that things may not necessarily work out how we intend to but to think through what those next steps would be like how would we we how would we respond and I think it puts us in a frame where we see that okay I, it wouldn't things wouldn't be like that terrible you know or terrible at all like I would bounce back and I would handle it and I would you know adjust um, as needed and you could take those steps in place to have just as a backup you know just in case but I learned a thing about having faith and just really having faith in God that God is always working in my favor no matter what you know no matter what the outcome looks like you know God is gonna align things that things are always happening you know for my highest good so my faith went up by a million you know through this process of buying a home my, my faith went up you know my bank account went up a little bit you know uh, thank God 
And um, I learned that no matter what I'm doing, no matter what the goal is, no matter what the obstacle is, that I am well equipped to handle it, you know, that with flexibility, being flexible mentally, um, and with um, having faith, and with um, just doing my part, you know, taking those necessary steps, just like I had to do with becoming a homeowner, that things will always work out. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> Join me if, if you got something to sip over there and just taking a toast and with this next um, uh, few months of the year we have um, about six five or six months left in, in 2020 that um, we have time to do some things accomplish some things start some things stop some things <laughs> um, and um, I'm looking forward to celebrating more milestones with you um, and if you're also celebrating an anniversary or a special moment in your life you know cheers to you okay and cheers to us cheers